but that's why I say like interning and all this stuff is important, bro. Because a lot of times you be thinking like, oh, I want to do this. Like, bro, I want to DJ. Like, I'm like, oh, wedding DJ. You make all the bread. Oh. You know what I mean? Here we go. We here, man. Episode 48. Another Friday, man. Welcome. Unquantized podcast. We're in here once again. Uh, we have a special guest. Y'all remember my brother? Hey. Oh, young DJ oh, oh. MacGyver. Young DJ MacGyver. Yes, I'm here. If you know DJ MacGyver's here, you know it's going to be a, a fun show. Yes, indeed. The black man says, what if you throw them out there and then your beats get used? Then talk business, right? There's the fear. That's the fear that I'm talking about. But once again, who, tag, says, tag who, the best. who says that someone wants your beats? Yeah, ain't that's what I'm saying. See, you're still going into people it. Still you haven't got the fact that people want your beats. For people free. still on YouTube beats every yeah. single day. Look, if you think everybody's paying for the YouTube mm. beat at first, no, we'll pay you when when mm. it's blowing. Yeah. Here's the thing, guys. If people want to steal it, they're gonna steal it. That's a fact. It's nothing you can do about it. And if you're not comfortable with that, mm. of course, I mean, who's comfortable with getting stolen from? But if that's a fear of yours, you ask the person what they need. If they need beats and you're not with it, then no. What else can mm. I do for you? But that's the thing. If you don't want to give away beats for free, and honestly, I've never in my life asked anybody for beats that I didn't know for and, free. Like, and I don't. A, that's care. what I was gonna say. I feel like that's missing the key thing of when we say hit all these people. These are vetted people that we want to. You know what I'm saying? It's certain people. If they stole a beat from me, I would still be. I'm cool. I'd rather take credit rather than in certain situations than money. Because mm. I know what that credit gets me. You get what I'm saying? Because mm. you can finesse the play. Bro, if you, you give me a future placement, right? Right now. Bro, I'm turning that future placement into five different things. That's right. Immediately, Because you're going to walk in a whole bunch of rooms like, yo, I did that future. Bro, shoot, future what's future. up? You know what I'm saying? Run it. I need a song deal. I need to get on some, some brown paper bag. Artists. No, I need all of it. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, giving out free beats, you just got to know how to... Make it work for you. You, uh, you could give out a free beat. Yeah, and finesse the play. It could be good, but you have to look at the mm-hmm. artist. Like if you're looking at the artist, you worrying about the free beat. Like look who you're giving the artist out. Look who you're giving the beat to. And if you don't see no potential in the, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. What's the purpose? Like you also, may want to give them the free beat. That may be a friend that could help you out. You in your head, you know right. oh, that's just probably not going nowhere. And half the people that's gonna steal your beat. Ain't doing shit with it. Yeah, they they ain't doing shit with it. So it's like, it. no. that video this morning was talking about people that were big, people that were mm-hmm. people who it wouldn't benefit them to steal because they gonna they ain't trying to deal with that lawsuit. They not. They definitely not because mm-hmm. they're gonna people are gonna ask mm-hmm. them. They gotta turn in masters. You feel me? So I mean, at minimum, you don't give away your masters. And if anything, I wouldn't worry about the artist stealing <laughs> your beat. I worry about their producer liking it. And flipping what you've done. Thanks. My whole thing is is this. Like I said, who says somebody wants your beat? You're, you're really hyping yourself up. If I'm a producer, I probably I probably don't want your beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I make beats. I need other things. Chase Producer says, I agree. It's hard to do, though, simply because everybody is doing it. Dudes be taking their machines MK3 to the beach. Yes, yeah. whoa, whoa. Listen, listen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Too. Now, here's the thing. I was sitting up last night and I was watching a video, and somebody was doing something ridiculous. I think we talked about this last week. It has to get to a certain point where the antics cannot overshadow the music. I don't know how. Listen, well, here's the thing. No, no. Here's the thing. You'll see a, a somebody making a beat. In the middle of an intersection, with with Bro. a pigeon on their shoulder, with their toes, you, but then you turn the but then you turn the sound on, and it's trash. And the beat is super trash. It's not even like Bro, oh, it's okay. It's I super see, trash. If I, I see one more beat making video with a dude just laying a snare on a two and a four, my nigga, with a little boom bat, he all he does, Duh. right? You know, but you got on the whole Power Rangers yeah. costume, yeah. Like, yeah, but your beat is super like, trash. Power Rangers, not even okay, but super, <laughs> listen. As, listen, as a guy who came in and, and you know, I started doing videos and I, I got a little flair to a lot of my videos too, but I make sure you're not like, yo, that beat is trash. Okay. Never. Never. And, but what I will say to that, again, it's a lot of competition. True, right? It's saturation. It's saturation. True, right? But anytime it's saturation, the cream rises. No, All the time. You, you, your job is to be good. Because those people with the MK, uh, MK3s at the beach, 
That don't mean shit, bro. No. That that just mean they got no, something no, extra, no, in they, extra in they extra in their bag that they gotta carry around. Bro, it's people in and we live in Atlanta. It's people in Lenox Mall in the food court right now with a MIDI keyboard. Man. Set up waiting for a rapper to hey, walk I used to be one of them guys that rent the hotel at the W just for the view to have my uh have my uh system set up and I'm doing See, beats. That's, 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 that's a vibe. That's, 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 yeah, that's a vibe. vibe. See, oh, that's what, you weren't trying to make videos. No, what people oh, do I was is, making the videos of them. But see, that, that's different. What people do is they post up at the mall trying to like pass off CDs and beat CDs. So they make beats in the mall showing like, I'm making beats. Yeah. Bro, I, I, I'm not worried about any of these motherfuckers, well, bro. My, I don't care. Because that's a fact, because you're not really doing... You're you're not, whole, we're not in the same business. Your whole focus is getting clicks because you're in a Burger King mm-hmm. making videos. Where there are people that really do this, and one of the OGs, um, he might not be an OG at this, but I talked about the dude Junkie Cat. He did a couple videos for right. some of my stuff where he would be on like a ski lift in Berlin or where... It's like authentic. You can see it's authentic. Like he's really out here, and the production quality is up there. But like I said, man, you throwing the goddamn Power Rangers outfit, and you get uh-huh. in the Burger King, you start making beats. It's it's trash. Uh, the beat guy. Are you really good. thinking these guys are really like making the beats on the spot? Or oh no, we know that. Well, oh, here, okay. well here's the okay. thing. Okay. But, but, the, but the thing, <laughs> but the thing is, isn't that even worse of an offense? Because the beat is trash. Oh, you yeah. had if you gonna pre plan it, at least be fire. <laughs> Fast. At least be fine, bro. Fast the beat be tr- dog. That's what, bro. Trash. Beats by Jay Black be. Yeah, you can hear him. You can you can hear the timing. You know he really finessing it, and he. No, I can't keep. No, I can barely play with two fingers. He over here, so that's why I respect him because it's like, yo, he's really doing some shit, bro. This is like you see the effort in this shit, like, right? You can see the and the beats power. be right, and the beats be. My fire. thing is at the but end I think of the day, showcasing skill at that point for those people. But what skill about. are you showcasing, bro? Anybody can. I can do that. Oh, I didn't mean hit that shit that hard. No, nah, that's all good. <laughs> I was excited, my bad. Secondary, secondary keyboard, so But good. anybody can do that shit, bro. Like, anybody can tap a keyboard. What are you doing? No, I was talking about your boy who backs the oh, play okay. with multiple uh, figures. Oh, no, well, yeah. He, yeah, he yeah. showcased that. <laughs> yeah, well, he got beats and he got, he got skills, too. But a lot of these a lot of these people, they're, you, could, you could smell that they're so focused on how can I make this video so amazing that they don't give a second thought about the beat or be like, you know what? I got this whole shit set up, and I'm in the middle of the intersection, but this beat is kind of trash. Maybe mm-hmm. I should do a better beat. Well, that's why I say, like, interning and all this stuff is important, bro, because a lot of times you be thinking, like, oh, I want to do this. Like, bro, I want to DJ. Like, I'm like, oh, wedding DJ. You make all the bread. Oh. You know what I mean? Bro, I thought I wanted to do that until I did a bro, wedding. Then wedding I'm like, anything is tough. Then I'm like, oh, I no, don't ever want to do this. I do not. Ever. I do wedding DJs for my homies just mm-hmm. because I love that's them. It. But I don't want to take no saying. money for no wedding DJ because it's the list, it's playing stressful. stuff on time, waiting. They got they got orders and stuff and so yeah, flow. Well, you got any plugs? Minutes. We got one thirty. Um, drone footage. Nope. Um, What's your IG? Be checking out my drone footage on uh, DJ MacGyver. You know what I mean? Uh, it will be up. It's gonna be a link to another. Instagram. We're gonna do a whole new Instagram page. Nice, nice, nice. Junior, hold on. My bad, bro. Yeah. I, I screenshotted that uh, joint, Junior. The idea. So we working on it. We about to. Cool. That's a good idea. Appreciate that. Oh man, soundworker.net. Check out Sample Genesis, Nintendo uh, 64, old school gaming mixed with new school uh, melodies and stuff. Check that out on soundworker.net. Also, the art of transition, both made by me and I'm the innovator. Shout out to him. Hey, what you got, brother? Oh, did I flip it? Came through flipping. Hello. Um, <laughs> Subculture 2, the producer kit, and go check out Jay Park. Uh, I forgot the name of the song. It's yeah. That. But That's me and Diego have produced it. Go to my Instagram. It's on there. Facts. There we go. It's been another unquantized podcast. Yes. Yeah. Thank you all for coming through. Thank y'all. Thank Camera y'all. Camera 2, we know that you're still on. YouTube, we know that you're still on. YouTube, we going every week.